Hey guys, it's Mrs. Bradford. Um, all of you, most of you know the Very Hungry Caterpillar story by Eric Carl. And so today's craft activity, we are going to make the Very Hungry Caterpillar with potato painting. I just took a potato, cut it in half, and we're going to use this to make our circles on uh, for our Hungry Caterpillar. So, I have some paint on a plate. I have two different colors of green, a little red and a little yellow. And I also have a black Sharpie for his antennas and his feet. So I'm gonna point the camera downward so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And if you don't have paint at home, you can just draw with a marker, crayons, you can use construction paper and just cut out the circles, however you wanna do, just to make the very hungry caterpillar. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make his body. I'm gonna do five circles of green. Oops, wow, that's a lot. A lot of paint on there. So we might need to rub it onto the side a little bit. So we'll start back here. Green, whoa. And then I want a different color of green because I like to mix it up a little bit. And we're gonna kind of make them go up and down, not in a straight line because caterpillars are kind of wavy, aren't they? That's the lighter green, it kind of looks the same. Darker green, see he's kind of going up and down. And lighter green, we're gonna make five green circles. Whoa, if it's not all going, you spin your potato around a little bit. And the last green, we're just gonna put right up here, okay? Now, you can either rinse this potato off and use it again, or you can get use the other half of your potato. I'm gonna use the other half of my potato just for time's sakes. So now, I'm gonna dip the other half, the clean half, in my red. I just need one big red dot for his face, don't I? Because his head is red. We're gonna put him way up here. There we go, like that. So we've made his body and his head, right? And now we can, uh, while this is drying a little bit, we can draw his feet, his legs or his feet. And he's got lots of feet, caterpillars have lots of feet. So we're gonna put just a straight line down and out, like an L and a backwards L. That's how we're gonna make his feet. Can you see that? Let's see, there we go. Straight line down, an L, like that. Or kind of like an upside down T, even. You can think of it that way. And we're gonna put feet on all of the green circles. Okay, because he has a lot of feet. All right, and then we're gonna make some little antennas on the top of his head. And they're just gonna curve out like that. And they're gonna have a little ball at the end of them, like an antenna. Okay. Now his face is still very wet, so I am going to use a paintbrush. And you can wait until yours is completely dry and use a marker or a crayon. Or if you've got yellow paint and a paintbrush, you can use a paintbrush too. So I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush into the yellow a little bit and so I can draw him some eyeballs. He needs yellow eyes is what the Very Hungry Caterpillar has. We have a little bit of green inside of them. We'll try to do that if we can. But since I'm trying to get this finished for you, I don't really have a lot of time to wait for it to dry. And that's okay. But you guys can do yours differently at home. There we go, so two big yellow eyes. I'm gonna wipe my paintbrush off and I'm gonna dip it in the green and see if I could just put a little dot of green on each of these eyes. There we go. And now we have our very hungry caterpillar. Yeah. Okay, can't wait to see your guys' try it at home.